Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have the Mysterious Mass. When a Mysterious Mass washed up on shore in Indonesia, people had a lot of questions. At first, it was rumored to be the corpse of an enormous squid, which to be fair, really would be quite the sight. Locals were flocking to the area to get a glimpse at this washed up creature, which is said to have been the size of a shipping container. After more examination was done by experts, they got to the bottom of what this creature really was, and it was no squid. No, instead, this creature was actually a whale, a sperm whale to be more specific. Indo Indonesia's Ministry of Marine Affairs and Fisheries explained why this creature looked so far from itself when they explained the gruesome decomposition process. They said, quote, With sperm whales, when they decay, the intestines will come out through the bottom of the throat, which is striped like a pumpkin, and they become curved. So. That's gross, but at least it gives us answers to this long time mystery. In our number nine spot today, we have the Monotuck Monster. This is a creature that is likely one of the most famous on this list today, as when it was found back in July of 2008, the photos of it quickly circulated the internet. People were reporting that there was a strange and mysterious monster that had washed up on shore, and it was a quote, ferocious looking carcass. I mean, saying what these people were, I can completely understand why people were talking about it and trying to figure out what it could be. It looks like nothing I've ever seen before, and it looks completely terrifying. Of course, the internet is full of theories about everything, and in reference to this creature, people thought it could be a turtle without a shell, even though that would have been impossible, a dog, a large rodent, or even an experiment from the nearby government animal testing facility. In the end, it actually hasn't ever been officially confirmed, but the most accepted answer is that perhaps it was a raccoon that had lost its fur and begun to decompose. Either way, all the options really are terrible, and this creature has gone down in terrifying history. In our number eight spot today, we have the Murray Wai monster. This mass was found on a New Zealand beach, and it was huge. To make it even more strange and sort of ominous looking, it was completely covered in barnacles. People thought it was some sort of alien at first because it looked so bizarre, and it really had people scratching their heads trying to figure out what exactly it could be and where it could have come from. People, of course, thought that perhaps it could be a washed up whale, and some thought it was an alien capsule, so when I say that the theories spanned quite a range, I really do mean it. While there has never been any official confirmation of what this mass was, there are people who believe it is just a piece of driftwood that is covered in gooseneck barnacles. Maybe I don't want to believe it because it's such a normal explanation, but I'm just saying. That's a massive piece of driftwood, if that is, in fact, what it is. In our number seven spot today, we have the blobs. People began to become baffled when thousands of pink blobs began to appear on shore. It's like they were basically invading the beach and no one had ever seen them before. Locals in the area described what they were seeing like little water balloons all over the place. They were described as being super squishy and they had people completely confused. People thought that they were some sort of eggs or maybe Maybe that they were a strange jellyfish, but whatever they were, there were thousands of them up and down the beach. After more research was conducted, people were able to actually receive an answer as to what they could be, and as it turns out, it's a lot more normal than some of the other things on this list today. These squishy blobs turned out to be a sort of sea cucumber that had been washed ashore after the storms shifted the sands and exposed them. In our number six spot today, we have the sea nugget. What is now being referred to as a sea nugget washed up on a California beach and was immediately the source of much confusion. The person who initially stumbled upon the sea nugget snapped a photo of it because they were simply so dumbfounded by what they were seeing. They shared the photo to social media to see if anyone else had any answers. They said it weighed around seven pounds and if they had to guess, it was about five inches wide. When they posted this to Reddit, of course, many people weighed in with their thoughts and feelings, but one response kind of rose above the rest as the most likely explanation. The reply read, quote, I'd say that, my friend, is a long dead sea hare. I'm not gonna lie, I had to Google what the heck a sea hare is, and as it turns out, they are mollusks. While this is of course the explanation brought forward by a Reddit user, it has still never been confirmed exactly what this sea nugget was in the end, but this one might be the most likely. In our number five spot today, we have the headless creature. Over on the shores of Newfoundland's Bay of Islands here in Canada, people were in for quite a surprise when they found some sort of unidentified headless creature that had been washed up on shore. This mystery creature was 15 feet long, and it said that 10 of those formed a tapered tail. Despite the fact that this creature was found back in February of 2010, there still has been no official announcement as to 
what exactly it could be. There are many fishermen in the area who have lived their entire lives there, and who of course are very familiar with the creatures that live in the sea, and none of them have ever seen anything like what they saw on the shores that day. Perhaps there's a perfectly reasonable explanation behind the mystery, but maybe it's just something that we've never even seen before. At this point, it's a mystery we may never really get the answers to. In our number 4 spot today, we have the orange alien. Back in August of 2011, the shores of northwestern in Alaska saw something that had definitely not exactly been seen there before. There were billions of tiny orange spores washing up on the shores and people were certain that it was the beginning of either the apocalypse or an alien invasion. It was literally like an orange tide and people were rightfully pretty freaked out. After some investigation and research was conducted by experts, it became clear what the real culprit was rust. It turns out that these fungal spores were a result of spruce needle rust, which only infects plants, not humans. The spores were driven to these coastal waters by wind, and while it definitely freaked people out, in the end it turned out to be something much less worrisome than the first thought. In our number 3 spot today, we have an opa. Just over a decade ago, some of those on the beaches of Lushadia were in for quite a surprise when they came across what would definitely be considered an unusual sight. Back in 2010, there was a giant, brightly colored opa fish that just happened to wash up on shore. Residents of the area explained that it was kind of like having an alien show up in your backyard, as this fish is normally an exotic deep water fish. These fish, also sometimes known as moonfish, are quite large and can be very heavy as well. It certainly was quite the sight for those who happened across it. In our number 2 spot today we have the Sakhalin Sea Wolf. This creature was of course one that was found on the shore of Sakhalin Island, which is an area that is close to Japan in the most eastern part of Russia, about 5,000 miles east of Moscow. This creature was initially found by Russian soldiers and, to be honest, the origins of it are completely unknown. This creature is not only really strange to look at, but upon examination, no one is really sure what exactly it is. It is said that the bones and teeth of this creature are not those of a fish. It's also apparently not a crocodile or an alligator according to skeletal remains, and somehow the skull kind of resembles that of a canine, but it's not a dog as the bottom part of the body seems to be most like a fish. People believe that the most likely known thing that this creature could be is perhaps a whale, but it has just never been confirmed. In our number 1 spot today we have the Rockness Monster. This is a creature that was discovered washed up on shore back in 2015, and ever since then it has been the source of much mystery. Passerbys first spotted this creature just at the edge of the water and estimated that it was about 5 feet in length. The creature had a mouth that was still full of large, razor sharp teeth, and someone even said that the creature had a large enough mouth that you could fit a whole fist inside, which I personally think is a weird observation to make but a descriptive one nonetheless. Once photos of this beast started to circulate, people began to believe that perhaps this creature was actually some sort of unidentified ancient deep sea creature. Of course, people have come forward with some more reasonable explanations, but no story has ever been confirmed. Coming in at number 10, we have a whole dock. Following the 2011 Japanese tsunami, a 66 foot long concrete dock from Misawa drifted all of the way across the ocean to Oregon. The dock the travelled over 4,600 miles across the ocean, washing up in the United States just over a year later. Now it was also carrying 5,000 pounds of sea life with it. John Chapman, a biologist at Oregon State University said, That dock looked to me like a chunk of Japan had floated across the sea and landed on the Oregon shore. In our number 9 spot today we have Double Trouble. Over in the Netherlands, this is a discovery that, when it occurred, it shocked all of those who were there to see it. Two fishermen were the ones that stumbled upon this and at first they thought thought they were seeing double. That is because what they found was actually a two-headed porpoise. Of course, further research was done on this animal because the fishermen knew it was rare, but I don't think they knew just how rare it really was. Experts would go on to later confirm that this was the first case of conjoined twin porpoises ever discovered. In fact, it's so shocking that this happened because it's only the tenth known within the group of sea mammals that they belong to, which is a group that includes whales and dolphins. It truly was quite a remarkable discovery. I'll 
bait, probably a bit shocking when it first happened. In our number eight spot today, we have jellyfish. Back in 2017, there was a mega swarm of giant barrel jellyfish that ended up washed along the Welsh coastline. Like I'm talking about thousands of them. And these creatures can be quite large as well, growing to be about 35 inches in diameter. Many experts were shocked and had explained that they had never seen this many, especially this large before. So it was truly quite the sight to see. Experts explained that the unseasonably warm weather that was seen at the time likely boosted their numbers, and this may explain the mass quantity of them. In terms of how they ended up there, well, they were probably caught up while attempting to migrate. In our number seven spot today, we have the sea snake. Okay, so rather than after disaster, these creatures kept showing up before disaster, and it had many people thinking that perhaps they were some sort of omen, and I can totally understand why. In the Philippines, before devastating earthquakes would appear, there would be these 10 foot long creatures being referred to as sea serpents that would be found washing up on the beaches. Listen, if I found a weird huge sea snake a bunch of times before something bad happened, I would also 100% think that it had some sort of omen. It turns out that these were just ore fish, and no, they are not an omen, and no, they can't predict earthquakes or other natural disasters. In our number six spot today, we have isopods. Okay, so you know pill bugs or potato bugs or roly polies, whatever you want to call them? You know the gross little bugs? Well, what if I told you that there's a sea creature that looks like them? And then what if I told you that sometimes this sea version grows to be like the size of a puppy? Yeah, a little unnerving and very disgusting, right? These things are actually isopods, and while most don't grow to be that large, one of the largest on record was found washed up in Indonesia. It has been nicknamed giant for obvious reasons, and was measured to be about 13 inches long. This discovery, while disgusting, also proved to be quite remarkable as it was the first giant isopod to be found in over a decade. In our number five spot today, we have the octopus anomaly. When this creature was found, it almost became someone's meal until its anomaly was realized. It was an octopus, but instead of eight arms, this one had nine. That's like a Novemo puss now. Of course, this led to the question, how does an octopus grow nine arms? Well, that has to do with their ability to regrow limbs. Like how lizards can regrow tails, octopuses have the ability to regenerate their own arms, but sometimes this process goes a little wonky. It's likely that this octopus at some point had to regrow their arm, and while that was happening, this new arm just sprouted another new one, thus the nine-armed octopus was born. Apparently, these sorts of things can happen over and over again to just one octopus. According to a 1965 study, it is said that this once gave an octopus 90 different arms. So. That's a lot. In our number four spot today, we have this unidentified creature. This creature was found on shore after the devastating 2011 tsunami that hit Japan. A survivor of this disaster was the one who found this strange creature, and while at first, from a bit of a distance, it appeared as though it could be like a small whale or something like that, from close up it appeared more like a boulder or a large rock, leaving people completely baffled. In the end, especially because all of the work that experts needed to turn their focus to during this time, whatever was seen by this person wasn't fully looked into, so what it ended up being remains a bit of a mystery. There's a video of the entire ordeal so that you can get a little bit of a closer look. In our number three spot today, we have the slickhead. This is the discovery that actually ended up being the moment an entire new species was discovered. Found in Japan, researchers were thrilled when they saw this colossal sea monster and realized that despite the heavily fished area that it came from, no one had ever found this fish before. The fish belonged to a family of fish known as slickheads, which are known for their scale-free heads and gill covers. But unlike other much smaller members of its family, this new find was a beast. The previously known members of this family usually grew to be about 14 inches in length, but this one was a massive 55 inches long and 55 pounds heavy. Another thing about this fish that made it different from its other family members is that, while slickheads are usually known for eating plankton and weak swimmers such as jellyfish, this new huge guy had evidence that showed he hunted other fish and was actually quite the predator. Despite this guy and his massive terrifying look, it was definitely an exciting day for those getting to research this newfound fish. In our number two spot today, we have a long journey. After the devastating Japan tsunami that occurred in 2011, for years after the oceans saw repercussions. 
Of course, this was also a disaster that carried over to land. Many, many people died. Many homes and businesses were destroyed. I'm not trying to minimize or disregard the impact this tsunami had on humans. This is just a list of creatures, so that's what we're focusing on today. So basically, years after the tsunami, a whole slew of strange creatures started washing up on the shores of the Pacific Northwest and California. Some of these new creatures were even clinging to plastic debris that had been swept out to sea in the disaster. These creatures would continue to arrive year after year. We're talking shellfish, crustaceans, marine worms, sea stars, sponges, and even fish. What was alarming is that they were alive, and while that is great, some of these species are invasive and can totally throw off an entire ecosystem. It truly has been quite a time for research to see how this happened and how it affects both the animals themselves and the new area that they've been washed ashore to. In our number one spot today, we have the sea monster. Back in March of 2012, the nightmarish sea monster washed up on South Carolina shores and had people completely confused and stunned. People had truly no idea what it was and the theories of course started swirling. Many people believed it was some sort of never before discovered sea monster and honestly I do not blame them. This thing looked weird, creepy, and I would have had no other guesses. It honestly looked like it could have been from Jurassic Park, but in the end, thankfully there are many people out there who know much more than I do, and experts were able to take the wheel and get to the bottom of this mystery. In the end, a local veterinarian was able to determine that this washed up creature was in fact the corpse of a sturgeon that was covered in scut. The reason everyone thought it was a monster is because sturgeons are huge, growing to be 800 pounds and up to 15 feet in length. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have Trunco. Trunco is the unofficial name of a strange mass that appeared on the coast of South Africa back in October of 1924. The initial source for this strange beach mystery claimed that this mass was a fish-like polar bear, which has me asking, what in the fresh hell is that? Whatever creature this is apparently was first spotted just off of the coast fighting two killer whales. It is said that it was seen using its tail to attack the whales, and it apparently was able to lift itself out of the water by about 20 feet or 6 meters. It is said that this creature had thick white fur on it, which is why people are explaining that it's like some sort of polar bear fish. Scientists never ended up testing the creature, I mean this was back in 1924, so aside from the few photos of it that exist, we really have no idea what what exactly this creature was at all. Coming in at number 9, we have this creepy fanged creature. So this unidentified fanged creature washed up on a beach in Houston, Texas following Hurricane Harvey. Ok, it wasn't a tsunami, but the effects of the high winds and rain were similar, chopping the oceans up and throwing creatures to the shore that otherwise would have been happily swimming along in the deep. Pretty Desai took a picture of the mystery creature and posted it on Twitter asking what the heck it was. The tweet went viral and the internet answered. It was a Fang toothed snake eel. Hands up if you can live without fang toothed snake eels. Ooh. Another mysterious creature from the deep up next at number 8. Footage of a strange big white creature emerged on the internet after being shot on what we can only assume as a camera phone. The creature looks kind of whale like, although it had people on social media totally stumped. I don't know, like, what is that? Coming in at number 7, we have a slipper covered in barnacles. I can't even consider something as flimsy as a slipper surviving over a year at sea, but it did. Sadly, the slipper was swept away during the 2011 tsunami, and the pink female shoe could actually have come from a victim of the tragedy, we don't know. The solo shoe travelled all of the way to Cannon Beach, Oregon, where it was then taken to an aquarium. The slipper is now on display with other fish brought over to the shore from the tsunami. Coming in at number 6, we have a mermaid. Wait, what? So this was actually a tasteless viral hoax following the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, but I thought we'd mention it because it was big news at the time. So this picture was part of an email hoax, and it shows what people were saying was a real life mermaid that had washed up from Chennai, India following the Boxing Day tsunami. Coming in at number 5, we have a football. So a football washing up on a beach might not seem that crazy a feat, but when you think about the journey this ball had to go on to like end up getting washed up in Alaska, it's pretty insane. This ball belongs to 16 year old Miss Sky Murakami, whose home in Rosin, Takata was swept away in the 2011 tsunami. When David and Yummy Baxter found the ball on Middleton Island, they translated the message, which had been a good luck gift to the teenager. As a result, they were able to trace the boy and reunite him with the ball. What a story! Ok, not great at number 4, we have toxic waste. Yeesh, this is really not what you want washing up after a tsunami, like a whole load of nuclear waste. 
Following the Boxing Day tsunami of 2004, it seems like chemical waste was dumped along the Somalian coastline. The UN even confirmed that some Somalians had suffered from what they had thought was nuclear poisoning. Similarly, there are some concerns about how much nuclear waste was dumped in the ocean by the Fukushima nuclear plant that was sent into chaos following the 2011 tsunami. Coming into number 3, we have a ghost ship. How this ship managed to stay afloat and cross 5,000 miles of ocean without anyone living on board, well, I mean, who knows, it's kind of a miracle. Sadly for the boat though, the unmanned journey was to be its last. When it was spotted a year after the tsunami off the coast of Canada, the decision was made to sink the ship. As it drifted up the coast to Anchorage in the United States, the US Coast Guards pelted the vessel with machine gun fire. I think this is really sad, it survived a whole journey and then they just shoot it down. I guess what else are they going to do with it, but still. Coming in at number 2, we have a Harley Davidson. Following the 2011 Japanese tsunami, a Harley Davidson motorbike was found washed up on Canadian Graham Island in British Columbia. Luckily for the bike, it was still in its shipping container so it kind of survived in one piece, however it was no longer functional. Using the registration number, the bike was traced back to its owner, Aiko Yokohama. It was then donated to the Harley Davidson Museum and it's a really haunting memorial to the 15,000 people that lost their lives as a result of the tsunami. Okay, I picked this at number 1 because it seemed to be the most poetic. This for me is a real sign of how a natural disaster can destroy lives. Coming into number one, we have a village sign. I mean, this is really sad, isn't it? This is how savage a tsunami can be. It can totally destroy a village, then send the village sign across the ocean, washing up on a beach thousands of miles away. A sign from Shimonokoshi Village Housing was swept out to sea and found 3,728 miles away on Oahu Island in Hawaii. Now, this took two and a half years to cross the ocean after the tsunami. This sign did have a happy ending. It was flown back home in 2014, where it's now on display as a reminder and a memorial to the tragic events. Mm -hmm.